Hey guys, it's 21 Maxwell here and welcome to episode number 21 of my Glasgow Rangers save. You join us now at the start of the 2018-2019 season. And as you can see, it's been a good start to the season. We've got 10 points and, and we're unbeaten. And we're also into the group stages of the Champions League. So we're going to go through the fixtures in a minute. I'm just going to quickly go through all our transfers that have happened so far. As you know, we are previously at the stage where we were unsure if we were going to sell Xavi Quintilia. So I'm just going to go through all the transfers, the ins and the outs. And we'll see what kind of squad we've got together right now. So the last time we saw, we obviously made the acquisition of Ryan Jack in a free. Coming in from Aberdeen. So he's coming in. He'll be a tidy player. We can cover right back, centre back. Right mid and central midfield, 3.5 million, so he's also got a good bit of sell on value, so I'm happy with him. Stevie May's in, give us an extra bit of firepower up front, and he usually turns out pretty good in FM, so I'm quite happy with him. Good finishing at 16, you know, he's good at long shots, which is rare for a striker in some cases. He's off the ball, is good, so he'll make good runs, and physically, he's pretty decent as well. Ryan Christie. Is in. I don't know if he'll play much, but the fact that he's here means he'll not score against us anymore. It was always a bane in our lives when we played in Burness, so him being on board is definitely a positive thin thing. Oliver Sarkic is in, the young player from Benfica, the B team. Good record, good goal scoring kind of record, decent stats, and we're hopeful we can mould him into a decent striker in the future. John Lestrange is in, we say hopefully he can develop into a good young player with the physicals, we'll just hopefully work on his technical side of the game. Big Sacco has come in and been absolutely fantastic. He recovered well from his break when he had the, I think it was a leg break he had previous to signing. These were 4.3 million, all the good physicals you want. Good finishing, a lot of good mental stats, and hopefully he'll be a prized asset for us on 20k a week. Then obviously, Jose Maria Jimenez in on a permanent basis. What an acquisition that is, one for the future. He's hopefully going to be here for his whole career, and hopefully we can turn him into a good 6, 7 million pound player. But that good at 23, he can be even better at 24, 25, so I'm looking forward to see how he develops now that he's a Rangers player permanently. Uh, Fabrice Sankala is in as well, 2.5 million, covers both fullback positions, even if he doesn't make it here, sellable asset. We brought in Rolando Arns, he's pretty average, but it gives us that extra dimension if we want to put the wingers or somebody else up front with a bit of pace, so he's in from Newcastle. Abraham Ballado is a lone player from Barcelona, just to give us an option in the number 10 role. Good passing, good dribbling. First touch is good. A lot of good physical and com uh, mental stats. Composure is okay. You know, determination, good off the ball, vision. So that's kind of a good wee playmaker in there. We also brought in Alessandro Schoff from FC Bayern. I believe he used to be at Bayern, and we signed him from Hanover. One of the players, um, again, the stats are okay. Maybe hasn't developed as well as it should have, but there is still raw potential there. A couple of good starts to pass in, the long shots, the technique, the dribble. On. So to bring him in to play in midfield, bulk up the numbers, was a complete no-brainer, and hopefully he'll go on to be a decent sellable asset. The one we really had to get was Stefano Fuentes. Great potential, this kid at 19, the Uruguayan international. Physically amazing for somebody at 19. Even the mentals are pretty decent, and technically he's pretty good. We just need to really work on his crossing, his dribble, and everything else, I think. He has good potential to be a world class left back in the future. For the laugh, I brought in Nicholas Bentner as a target man. He'll probably just be like playing for cameo appearances, but for eight and a half grand a week from Cardiff, it had to be done. So Nicholas Bentner's in. Uh, and Tony Larios is just a youngster. I don't know how good he's going to be, but again, good physical stats. And at the age of 16, we thought he could be one for the future. And the one that um, I kind of fucked up on. Andrew Robertson, 7.75 7 million, a bit ridiculous for a left back, I mean he is really good. We seen he was available, for a laugh I said to the chairman of the board, can you please sign me for him, thinking ah, they'll just say no, they're like, oh, we'll get him in. And then after that I had no option to cancel the deal and he came in, 7.75 7 million for a left back, but I mean, who knows, we might be able to sell him on for 10-15 million, but it's amazing that we can attract this type of player to Rangers. As far as outs, obviously you saw we'd sold the likes of Lewis Vaughan, Osman Sow, Eliev. We eventually did sell Quintilia, that's how we brought in Robertson. 7 million he went to Celta Vigo for. All up front, which I was delighted at. He'll have a good wee career, we managed to make the money and bring in a Scotland international, so I'm really happy with that. And I suppose it's a good window, spent more than we brought in, but when you bring in the Champions League money, you can't argue with that. So on to how the seasons went so far, as I say we had a good pre-season, beating Dynamo Bucharest 5-1, we beat Slovan Bratislava 4-0, we drew at Morton, disappointing, 
Before good wins over Stirling, Canberra's Lang Rangers and Krasnodar. We then took on our good friends Dynamo in the Champions League qualifying and at the third round this time where we went to Croatia and won 5 1. Sacco banging in a hat trick before Karamatic pulled one back just before half time. Stevie May and Alessandro Schott gave us that great 5 1 victory to put us into the playoff round. So I'm assuming a 5 1 win, you know, we're going to go through. We then took on Linfield, Sacco again scoring twice. Can't argue with that. Job was done against Dynamo in the second leg. Yurchenko and Jimenez put us 2 0 up. Cop made it 2-2 with two goals for the Croatians before Sarkic and Christie made it 4-2. A bit of a bummer on the opening day of the SPL season though. Tyus Browning put us up against Dundee. They get two dodgy penalties which Aaron Muirhead put in the back of the net before Pereira equalised for us, saving us in the last minute which was good. We then get back to winning ways with a 4-1 victory over Harps. Zaya Brown puts up. Christopher Olsen, on his return to the club, made it 1-1 before in the second half. Andres Pereira, Shane Lowry and Sacco made sure we took the three points. And then, we haven't conceded a goal since. A 2 win off Aberdeen through Jimenez and Yurchenko was exceptional. We took on KR from Iceland in the playoff round. Sacco getting two early goals. Pereira and Schkoff made it 4-0 before 31 minutes. Vinegason and Figbogson were both sent off in the second half for the Icelandic team. Took on Inverness, Schkoff opened the score in early doors, Sacco got another two before Rolando Ahrens came on and made it 4 0. The Andre Yedlin gets sent off unfortunately, but a good win there and a good clean sheet. And then we took on KR in the most recent game. We even lost Jose Maria Jimenez in three minutes, so that's going to be a bummer in the first group stage match. But White and Pereira and an on goal from Chris Jansen made it 3 0 away, and even Bendixson gets sent off for the home side. So we're in the group stages, we've drawn. Zenit St. Petersburg, Chelsea and Basel, so we get Basel again, we know how good they are, I'm hoping we can squeeze second place this season, I think it'll be Chelsea and then any of these other sides for second place, but if we can keep in Europe after uh, the new year, in it, January, February, then hopefully we can kick on and do something pretty decent. I see the league table for now. Three wins, one draw, zero defeats. Celtic's going to be competitive this year, obviously the change in manager, so they've got four wins out of four, so it's going to be a lot harder than last year's whitewash, where we like, won the league by 17 points and quite convincingly. The Celtic struggled to make the top six, so it's going to be a lot more of a challenge. We'll have to play a lot better than last season, but hopefully we can end the season with we'll a good bit of silverware. So hopefully this year we'll bring in the likes of Rob McCrory, because I think it's going to be time Kevin Trapp will probably go. Yednik's yeah, probably going to go, we'll maybe cash in in a couple other players, but so far so good. And hopefully we can meet the competition's expectations for the board, which is win the treble and reach the group stage. We've already done that, so hopefully we can make my expectation in the Champions League, which is make the last 16. So cheers for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, this was 21 Maxwell, and I'll speak to you again real soon. Bye-bye.